you will learn how to pack every travel essential for this trip. I have a girls long weekend trip that I'm going to be packing for. I am packing many travel outfits. I am packing many pairs of shoes, which I normally do not pack. And then I am also going to fit all of my travel essentials in my bag. Many travel tip videos, including my own, teach you what not to pack, but there is a new packing method that I'm going to teach you today. It's called the trip packing system. When I was planning this Nashville girls long weekend trip, I thought there's no way it is going to work with my clothes and all of the essentials I have to pack for this fantastic epic trip. For some reason, the domestic long weekend trips are the ones that I tend to overpack for. If you tend to pack too many shoes or overpack for just a long weekend flight, I'm going to help you with this video. I have packed in only a carry-on suitcase for over 20 years as a pilot wife. We have to pack only in a carry-on suitcase because if we do not know until the last minute if there are going to be open seats for us on that flight to Paris again, or maybe just Nashville, I will then get in trouble or delay the flight because they now have to retrieve my baggage and my family's baggage off the airplane. Having to pack in only a carry-on bag for 20 years has taught me many tips that I can share to help people travel the globe without a worry in the world. On my YouTube channel, it's called Travel Tips by Laurie, and come say hey if we have not met yet. So today, I'm going to see if I can pack all these girls' long weekend things in my carry-on suitcase with this new tripped packing system. In this video, I'm going to use the trip packing system as a guide, and that just opens up the possibilities of what all you can pack. <laughs> so this tripped packing system is just going to guide us through the process. There are three easy steps in the tripped packing system. You're going to be so excited. Step number one is pull. That means pull everything you think you're going to want to wear based on, and here's where it ha helps you, based on certain days, your most important day. When you are thinking about your most important day, you're going to pull everything you're going to need. I am packing for my long weekend trip to Nashville, and my most important day is visiting Dolly Parton's restaurant, the White Limousine. I want to wear this dress and tall white cowboy boots. But right now I am just pulling what I think I'm going to need. I need shoe inserts. I need a pair of underwear for that day. I need a bra for that day. I need to wear my super cute white fringe crossbody bag. And then I need to wear thin socks for those boots because I have those inserts, which make them a lot more comfortable. The next day that we're going to pull essentials for is our travel day. One thing you want to think of is how long the flight lasts. And because this is a short trip, I am going to wear my black jeans and my girls trip t-shirt that I designed for my YouTube channel. The little dot in the eye is a guitar pick. Isn't that so cute? Anyway, and then I also want to change into my tall white cowboy boots when I land in Nashville. One of my important travel tips is to always check the weather before you start any of the packing process. And because I know that it's going to be in the 50s during the night, which is when we are going to be dancing the night away or on the tractor pull party tour, <laughs> I may get cold. So I want to wear those jeans at night and I do not want to wear them with tennis shoes or my white boots. So I think I need another pair of shoes, which are my short boots from Echo. They're my Europe shoes because I can wear them during the day touring and I can also wear them with black jeans into a restaurant. So that will be something I'm, I'm probably gonna wear those black boots on the airplane. Then if I get cold inside the airplane, I want a layer. I bought a sequin jacket that is good quality and lined, believe it or not, um, but I don't wanna wear that inside the airplane. <laughs> so I have my thick sweatshirt, but it is really, really bulky, um, but it's so cute and it fits the Nashville theme, so I'm just going to pull it. However, 
On my return flight home, I'm going to want to wear my tennis shoes and my joggers. So I'm going to need to pack those and my t-shirt, my Dolly Parton t-shirt. Another part of the process is thinking of your dream day activities. One of the activities we're going to do is a trolley tour. So I will need sunscreen. This toiletry kit holds so much because of the fabric. Look how easily it can smush and squish to fit inside your suitcase or like I did in my bag, I packed it in my personal item backpack. One travel tip is that you do not have to pack it zipped up like that. You can pack it laying flat if that fits more easily into your carry-on bag. I have organized my toiletries by time of day. The things I will need in the morning, I pack in this loose mesh pouch. And then this huge one right here, I will pack my makeup brushes. One very helpful packing tip is to know that if I'm inside the airplane and I wanna touch up my makeup or brush my hair or something mid-flight, this pocket actually is to the inside of the toiletry kit. So I don't have to open the entire kit mid-flight to get to my brush or my makeup that I may need. And then in here, I pack my little pills that I may need, band-aids that I'm going to need, and then my makeup I pack in like the pyramid stack. Once I do fill one whole layer, then I'll put my next layer of palettes, but I usually pack a minimum amount of makeup. And then my deodorant also fits in there. And the good thing about packing bulky items and their fabric is it smushes, like it can, it can expand and you are still able to zip it. And the zippers are very high quality. I also pack a little lunch bag of my cleansing cloths that you just add water to and they wash your face. And I've got my floss sticks, my toothpaste, all of my liquids in my liquid bag. One travel hack you are going to absolutely love for packing your liquids is that if you pack those liquid containers horizontally, you can fit more of those containers in. I know it took me 10 years before I started packing them horizontally instead of the stand up way that the cute little advertisements show, but that is a travel hack. And then also I have found that just this year in 2023, I use the clip on the liquids bag and the little hook on my toiletry bag. And I just get those out of the way and I hang them on the coat hanger in the closet of the hotel room. So you may want to do that, but it is user friendly if you want to use those on your vacation just from the pouch. It's the liquids bag does stand up on its own. And I just realized last year how convenient that is when you are packing to have it stand up on your bathroom counter while you're tossing all that stuff in ready to pack for your vacation again. I wear hearing aids. So I've got my hearing aid charger and all the cords that go with that. Other little essentials I'm going to pack would be my sunglasses case, my thin RFID wallet, phone charger for the day that I'm going to be touring all day and taking lots of funny video of us dancing and acting all girlfriendish. I'm going to need my phone charger for the house. I'm going to need my hearing aid charger, all the cords. Those are going to fit in the little travel pouch that expands. And the reason when you're looking for a bag, you want the zippers to go over the edge like this one does because it will open extra wide for you. My husband has one, I use one. If you like to zip, if you like to just smush, if you like to just throw it in there, like look, my whole hand can fit right here and then you can still zip it up. If you like using an organized method, you can pack in here many cords. If you are not so organized, you can still pack a lot of your travel electronic cords in here. It is a canvas, so it does offer some type of uh, protection in it. And my little tip is that you're going to put your most fragile items in the very center for that extra padding. One travel hack for packing cords is to use some little decorated tape and you're going to put that same pattern on the charger block and the charger cord that goes into your phone or your device that will help you find them more easily. Another thing I like about this bag is that it's light interior. So when you're trying to find the correct cord inside the dark airplane, it's helpful for you. They have thought of everything because they travel so often themselves. Another packing tip is that you can pack this vertically in your backpack 
or you can pack it horizontally on the bottom like to help give your bag more support. And then my toiletry bag will go on top of that. I've gotten ahead of myself. That step is to st actually start packing. So I'm going to start packing my toiletries. I'm going to start packing my electronics and then I start packing my clothes. The trip packing system does not tell you whether to fold or roll. So you get to choose your own method, but they want you to think in a certain way that may help you. And that is to pack either by time of day in those packing cubes or to pack with the category method. I like to pack with the category method and that would be, I would pack my shorts, my tops, so many clothes fit in these cubes, y'all. They are great for a long weekend trip. For this trip, I am just trying two weekender bags. They're great for a long weekend trip. And I really love how you just grab the little loops and you completely open the compression cube. You don't have to slide in your clothes. You can pack your clothes top loading, if that makes sense, because the open flap is at the top and opens the entire way. I've packed my waist belt fanny pack on top of that, and then I secure it with the little clips. I usually don't, but I did today. Um, I bought this pink suitcase just for the girls' trip. Is that not crazy? I mean, it's just so fun, and so many people are so excited about traveling again. All right, and then I'm going to roll up my bulky Howdy sweatshirt for inside the airplane. Now I'm going to pack my boots. I can fold them in a certain way. I'm going to pack those compression cubes in there. And now I fill in all those empty pockets of space with my essentials. The packing method I use is to fold my clothes and then put them in their packing cubes. And one little feature I want to show you is the outside laundry pouch that is included in your compression cubes. That's one of the most important questions I get is what do you do with your dirty laundry? One, I wear my clothes more than once so that I can pack fewer items, but then also having this little laundry pouch is super convenient. I prefer to pack my socks and undies inside the edges and the corners of my compression cubes. Sometimes I can pack them in between the handles of the suitcase that come into the suitcase, but you can also pack them in your shoes. I usually do that on the way home. By the way, just so you know, I tried three different compression cube companies years ago and I bought them myself. I bought and the Tripped brand were my absolute favorite and now they have world themed compression cubes. The quality is amazing and you can fit so many clothes inside. They also have a national park themed compression cubes too. And now because of the Tripped packing system, every essential that I need and want is packed. <laughs> you can find all of the information down below and please say hey on my channel if we have not met yet. Travel Tips by Laurie. Thanks for your time.